hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another what i eat in a day video pregnancy edition a few days ago i filmed the whole day what i have been eating including all the little snacks and stuff so i'm going to walk you through what my diet looks like as of now also it does changes frequently my cravings my appetite how much i can put in my stomach at once so i'll be making more of those videos make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already i post lots of motherhood and pregnancy content also a lot of content around nutrition toddler and kids meal ideas dinner ideas stuff like that so also make sure to hit the bell icon because i post every single thursday but i also do throw a bonus video here and there so make sure to don't miss out on my new content going live and let's go through what i ate that day for breakfast about five days a week i have oatmeal as you all guys know right i show you this every time i use organic old-fashioned or still cut oats something salt organic whole milk water and i boil it then I add flax seeds and chia seeds. Both are extremely nutrient dense and have lots of fiber and omega 3s and folate and iron, which are so necessary during pregnancy. Also, I add some Kerrygold butter, the best quality butter in my opinion, for extra fat and even better taste. I leave it on low and move to making my coffee. I do one shot of espresso in the morning with milk that I usually make in a foam, but this morning my coffee machine wouldn't froze my milk, clearly telling me that I need to clean it. Then I serve my oatmeal, I add some apples, raisins and honey. My toppings preferences always change from week to week as well as what I put in my oatmeal. During the last few days I did not want any chia seeds in there and no milk either. So very typical for pregnant me. That morning I was able to stomach about half or a little more of that portion but every morning is different. Good thing I have a toddler with a great appetite. Then I took my prenatals, I showed you this many times before, those are my favorite. Then for lunch, which took place just in about 2 or 3 hours after that small breakfast, I ate a big portion. We had leftovers from yesterday dinner, which is grilled chicken breast, mashed potatoes, sauerkraut and a fresh tomato with avocado mayo. And then I felt like I needed more of that sauerkraut. It's a real superfood. It's so nourishing for your good gut bacteria, which is basically our immune system. Make sure to get real fermented sauerkraut with probiotics in it that has no vinegar. And this one I got from Costco. I also have been trying to drink even more water throughout the day to try and reduce the episodes of my heart rate getting a bit high. I talked about that in my last pregnancy update. That lunch hold me off for a long, long time. Then later in the afternoon, I had my second shot of espresso with milk, technically a small cappuccino, and this time I clearly had given my coffee machine some love. This coffee looks much better and tastes so good. I also had a little treat from my local international store here. This is a chocolate waffle bar with nuts, which is totally unhealthy, but that's what I have been doing lately, multiple times a week. My sweet tooth is back and I'm totally guilty of eating sweets, but I'm getting back on track now. Ideally, I try to have one unhealthy treat a week. And talking about coffee, these two shots of espresso a day bring me almost to the limit of 200 milligrams of caffeine that is safe during pregnancy. In a couple of hours after that, I got hungry while cooking dinner, so I had some dates, almond flour crackers and cheese. 
Oh, and those cheesy smiles, apparently too. For dinner that day, I made some cabbage stew with pork and rice on the side. Totally into cabbage lately, as you can see, and this is the portion I had. And lastly, before bed, I had some hot chocolate. This one is super clean and moreover, it's actually very good for you. It's sweetened with coconut sugar, it has some functional mushrooms in it. You're supposed to mix it with water, but I have been so much into milk lately, I've been craving dairy, particularly milk, that I froze my full cup of milk almost, mix that hot chocolate powder in it and enjoyed a few quiet minutes before bed when Mikhaila was finally asleep. And thank you so much for watching! If you liked this video, make sure to give it thumbs up, it helps me tremendously. I hope you got some inspiration, some meal ideas, and if you have any questions, and if you have any video topic requests, leave them in the comments below, and I want to wish you to have a smooth pregnancy, and I'll see you next week. Bye!